Institute in 1990. Although I believe that Russia improved, plaintiff here is stating that Russia has definitely not improved. Okay, defendant, move on to your evidence. Let's start with Russia in 1852. My apologies, let's carry on. At this time, Alexander II's policy to free the Serbs has had a detrimental effect on Russia's economic and social situation. Objection! Your Honor, the defendant should not make any rash statements without showing evidence. Defendant, proceed with your evidence. Objection. The defendant is failing to state the fact that the free serfs increase the population and would inevitably increase the unemployment rate. Objection. Your Honor, I would just like to say the defendant has failed to include the fact that Russia had suffered from the Russo Turkish War in 1878, and more than 10,000 soldiers died and several weapons were needed to fight this war. It's no wonder that the industry had suffered after this war. By 1900s, Russia still had to deal with the effects of the war, which is the same position that Russia had been in, it, in at the end of the Crimean War. Very well. We will now hear the plaintiff's side. Thank you, sir. Now the defendant here has brought good points. The industry and social situation were certainly horrible in 1952. This is absolutely no difference from what Russia became by 1900. By 1881, Alexander III decided to change the policy that the second had established. He reversed the policy on the freed service to change the social and economic situation in Europe, which in the end had no effect. The secret police were created to get rid of the Protestant protesting and increased by the end of the 19th century. The defendant has focused on the economic and social relations, but has not included the, the, the problems Russia still had by 1900. The education system had still been horrible in Russia. Students were not allowed to form organizations, and the government faced problems in how much freedom to give the students on study. Is this not the reason the Corpus of Gendarme was created in 1826? These provisions some students such as Pierre Kuczynski, some Marxist circles and Polish Marxist articles which appeared, which was published at a university. The representation of the nobles had also been an issue, creating friction between the government and the nobles. Finally, the serfs had created protests to attempt and reclaim the land they believed was given to them by God. I see the Now, does the defendant have any last remarks to what the plaintiff has said? Now, although the plaintiff has raised a few good points, there are several reasons to why Russia improved by the end of 1900. One point that the plaintiff could have raised was the possibility of a banking crisis in 1876. The crisis would have ruined the Russian economy and would prove that Russia only got worse. But it was avoided and it nearly healed. Nikolai Bunch and his company successfully avoided a banking crisis in 1876 and have recovered economically thanks to the selling of bonds. I would like to finish by summarizing what I have said. Although Russia suffered economically and socially from the break of the service and the slow industry system, Russia was able to recover thanks to Nikolai Bunch's banking system and the fact that Russia entered the Russo Turkish War and won. Now the defendant has raised several points, but I can simply like to point out what the defendant has done. He has stated that after the Crimean War, Russia was left with terrible soil, industry, economy, and a bad reputation with the other major powers. Now, although he has stated that these things improved by 1900, this is not the case. 
with over 6 million square miles, several of the citizens would not at all have been benefited from the simple banking crisis prevention or the selling of bonds. The scale is just too small for Russia to be called improved. That, that is all, Your Honor. I will leave the rest to the jury.